neighborhood organizer when Saul Linsky was the, the guru, and he's a real person. And after three or four years, Saul said to us, you know, you guys, and we were only guys, I said, you, know, you guys uh, just keep talking. And you don't read anything. Says, and you, you won't learn anything but what you already know if you just talk with each other. And so he said, I want you each to read a book every week. And when we get together in our briefings, you tell us what you learned from that book. And when six people tell you what they learned from a book, you're getting a lot more than the six people telling you what they learned. You're going to get both, right? So I want to commend that to us. We got this website, and, and all of you, we, all of you can uh, send us send us all something on the internet. So why don't you, if you read a book, it's really good. And you know who we are. Send us all a message saying, this week, I read this. And here's the teaser. Here's the template. <laughs> and I think that will really help enrich us, right? Just as I hope. No, no, these kinds of books will, will get used as well. A um, few things then that uh, people, uh, people ask, well, why do you think ABCD has been relatively successful in the sense that it has a rather wide reach? So these are the the thoughts I have in, in response to that kind of question. And the first is that base, I think, we are always making the invisible visible. My wife said to me one time, you don't know what you need until you know what you have. And if you don't know what you have, because it's invisible, <laughs> you'll always end up needing it. So I think in, in a deep sense, our, our greatest contribution may have been not to teach, but to remind people uh, what's around in this place. Our place. That's here. Another thing is that uh, five years ago, I think, we had the first international gathering of ABCD. And uh, Cormac Russell organized it in England. Right. And when we got there, I was totally surprised because there were people there from 22 different countries. And I knew about six. And the other were all self-generated. <coughs> we, we don't have any ABCD central imperial managed system. But there it was. 22 countries. Right. Well, I try to think, why did that happen? And I don't really know, but I'll tell you what I, I made up. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that ABCD, I think, spread because of three things. And I only bring it up, but I want to commend it to you as a constant test ahead. And the first is it's simple. And simplicity is more beautiful than complexity. The second thing is, it's doable. 
And the third thing which we discovered, like at this meeting, is it's universal. I recently got a picture of uh, six men in a building <coughs> way out in a rural area in Ethiopia wearing the head long robes on. And five of them were standing around and the sixth was, was stooped over with a stick. And he was drawing a picture of an asset map. <laughs> What well, happened at least for these three reasons. Um, another thing is, I think ABCD people think in two ways. They think small and they think flat. And the reason 